Hey, 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 what's going on everyone out there? My name is Kieran Tross and welcome back to the Cloud Scholars page. Uh, today I'm going to go over a how-to video where I'm going to talk to you about how to analyze conditional access policies with a report-only mode. Now, how did we get to this point? Well, this video was inspired by one of the viewers. So, at Keith Pawson sent a message uh, three days ago. He says, thanks again for creating this. Can you create a video on analyzing conditional access policies with report-only mode? I believe that requires creating a log analytics workspace. In any case, it would be good to see how that is done. If there's any other ways of getting de details from a policy in report only mode, thanks. So I put great idea. I'll add that to my video topics. So this is a quick video um, because just setting this up is, is pretty straightforward. Um, I actually have videos about application insights as well, um, which is uh, similar to what we're going to do here, but I wanted to create one uh, specifically for uh, my man Keith out there. So uh, within Azure Active Directory, we are going to go to our diagnostic settings. Once you get into your diagnostic settings, what you're going to do is you're going to add a diagnostic setting. I already have one here with a, a log analytics workspace. So Keith is absolutely right. You do need to have a log analytics workspace. And all you're going to do is click add diagnostic setting and you need to add audit log and sign in logs and you need to send to your log analytics workspace. So if I come back here and I go to this one, edit, you can see I have audit and sign in logs and I have it going to my log analytics workspace, which is this default one that was created for some of the tasks that I was creating um, in the, probably for a previous video. So once you're done doing that, um, I already have conditional access over here on this other tab. You're going to click on, you can type in here and go to conditional access and it's going to come over to insights and reporting. And then once you go to insights and report and you could just sign in, you could go to scroll down and what you're going to see is a lot of the impact summary and it's going to show you about people who signed in and it's going to be showing the information that was gathered. So you see here, it says breakdown per condition and, and sign in status. This gives us device on manage is two uh, signing risk uh, gives us information about that. And if you keep scrolling down, this is where you're going to see information about signing event details. So, I don't really have much shown because obviously this is a lab environment. I'm not going to be signing in and out all day, um, but these are some of the stuff that you will show uh, within your environment and you're going to get the time generated. So uh, this will give you information about all your different types of conditional access policies uh, and if they're in report only mode or and if they're on as well. So it shows you all this information within here. Another section I would want to show you as well is if you go up to back to Azure Active Directory, you go to workbooks. Over here in workbooks, you can see different reports as well that you need. So you see how it says conditional access. There's all these different conditional access reports that you can generate um, information and you could just click on any one of these that you want and you can see here for sign ins. And you could get a lot of different information for these different types of reports. You can see what was successful. It says from the U.S., from unknown countries. And it just shows us a lot of that different information. So if your stuff is on report only mode, it will definitely show up here. So as I said to you before, this is a quick video. Uh, this is definitely out, out there because uh, I got one of our uh, users, uh, viewers, uh, sent this uh, message and asked about creating a video. So that is exactly what I did here. So I hope the information in this video was beneficial. This is a quick and short how to video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment section below. Um, so I just want to thank you. If you haven't uh, done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button here at Cloud Scholars. My goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.